Collectibles is back! Hello everyone, welcome to the Watchtower, and today brought great, great news because DC Collectibles is back. This is huge, huge news. I, for one, when they announced early last year that they were shutting down, when DC Comics announced that they were shutting down the DC Collectibles slash DC Direct uh, production, I was super disappointed because though there's some great, great, low, uh, low price point uh, statues that they released, but McFarlane Toys has stepped in and is going to re- rejuvenate this line and resurrect it and bring it back. In their official press release, they announced that the Batman Black and White series, uh, the Designer series, the Harley Quinn Red, White, and Black series, and the Six Inch, just, or Six Inch Batman, um, the animated series, action figure line, are all going to continue, and they said, and many more things. So this is huge, huge news. This is exciting. Um, because I love... I love DC collectibles, and now that McFarlane Toys is stepping in and taking over, this is great, great news because uh, McFarlane Toys, I believe, just from um, I'm not an action figure collector, but they're action figures I've looked at. They are incredibly detailed, and Todd McFarlane, I've heard him talk before about this stuff, and he doesn't produce stuff unless it's perfect and it looks really, really good. So I'm excited for what this is going to bring for these for these low price point collectibles. At least I'm assuming they're going to be low price point and they're not going to jump into the higher price point range. I'm assuming they're going to be like similar to what they were before and they're going to be low price points. So let's hope that that's the case. But I'm super excited about this. I think it's just, for those people that love the DC collectibles slash DC direct stuff, they're going to be really, really happy with this. I'm excited that the black and whites are coming back because as you guys know, I have quite a few black and whites. I love the black and white lines. So I'm just super super excited that they're coming back and well um they said 2022 they're gonna start releasing stuff and they uh, well they didn't tease or release any like images of what anything's gonna look like yet i'm assuming the next several months we're gonna start seeing some product reveals and stuff and the stuff go up on pre-order so i'm excited to see what what they reveal how close they're sticking to the dc direct line and everything dc collectibles keeping the design series similar with the base and everything and the statues um, I'm sure you know there's going to be a lot of Batman because Batman sells and with his action figure stuff he's done a lot of Batman so I'm assuming again there's going to be a lot of Batman, um, a lot of Wonder Woman, a lot of Superman but you know what else is new that's what everybody does so why should we be surprised at this point but it's still it is great great news. I do kind of want to temper my expectations just a little bit because I do believe and this is just me speculating here not based on anything I do believe that these will be higher priced than what we were used to under the just the DC Direct DC Collectibles label. I think these will be a little bit higher price point, so I think people should get ready for that because the reason I believe that is because when DC Direct or DC Collectibles worked in DC Comics under it, they had very little overhead. They didn't have to pay a licensing fee and stuff. They just had to pay the artist that designed it and sculpted everything, and the factories. They didn't have to pay a licensing fee. McFarlane Toys is going to have to pay artists and whatever to sculpt and design these things, the factory to produce it, and they're also going to have to pay that licensing fee as well. So this, I believe, is going to be... A, these stuff is going to be a little bit higher price point because they have to make that money back. So I think that, you know, um, people should just be tempered a little bit knowing that, hey, this isn't... I mean, black and whites aren't going to be eighty or eighty-five or ninety dollars a pop. I think they're going to be they're going to tip a little bit over that hundred dollar range now. So, um, I, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope they still stay that ninety, eighty-five, ninety dollar range. But I think they are going to be. I think they are going to be a little bit higher than that when they come back, just because they have to pay that licensing fee now. But I'm super excited about this. Um, I'm excited for this for um, people that collect on a budget and everything and collect stuff that. Um, at that lower price point who don't want to spend three, four, five, six, seven hundred, several thousand dollars for statues but still love these characters. I'm excited for you guys to be able to get some of these great characters in a lower price point. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you excited that this is coming back? I am super excited. I'm super looking forward to this. I can't wait. As always, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you the next time I log in for Modern Duty up here in the Watchtower.